when expanding logs, what you're trying to do is you're trying to take this piece of the log, this entire piece, and you're trying to break it into several different logs. Now, there are two properties that will allow you to do this. Actually, three properties. Um, one property at a time is you want to get rid of this fraction. And the way to get rid of that fraction is the log property says that if you take your numerator, you may subtract it from the same type of log, meaning the subscript of 8, by its denominator. So this subtraction is the same thing as the division bar, except now you have two separate logs. Now, as much as you say this is perfect, there's nothing, it's as simple as it can be, over here you have a whole bunch of things that can be done. First thing is, a radical is the same thing as a one-half power. Now, because I already have a power of three in here, that becomes a three-half power. You can watch other of my videos for more explanation on why radicals are one-half powers. Now, here we have a multiplication problem. Now, there is a rule that says if you multiply two businesses together right behind a log, you may also separate them so that it would become log sub 8 of r to the one-half power plus log sub 8 of m to the 3 halves power minus the log of 8 of x. So here what I'm doing is I'm just breaking it down into several different pieces. The last step is that you pull this value up here as the exponent in the very front of the log. So you'll get 1 half log sub 8 of r plus 3 halves log sub 8 of m minus the log sub 8 of x. Depending on your teacher, you might have to go even one more step. And the way you do that is you'd factor out a 1 half from both of these. It, it, it's just the greatest common factor, and a lot of students have difficulty with this, but what I try and explain to my kids is that they both have a 2 as a denominator. That's what they have in common. So really what you're doing is you're saying, all right, they have this denominator of 2 in common, 1 half. So we pulled it out of the problem. And then we pulled out the 1 half, which left only a 3. Put brackets because all we factored out was from these two and then minus the log sub 8 of x over here. So some teachers will find this step perfectly acceptable. Some will say, nope, go one more and factor it out. It depends on your teacher, but this is how you would expand a log.